Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and I'm the Art Studio Coordinator for the Children's Discovery Museum and welcome to our second virtual version of Art Around You, Exploring Art in the Community. This program was made possible by the Mirza Art and Culture Grant awarded to the Children's Discovery Museum by the Illinois Prairie Community Foundation, as well as our continued partnership with the University Galleries at Illinois State University. During this program, we'll take a virtual tour of a real life art exhibit that was featured at the University Galleries earlier this year and take a deeper look at a specific piece of art. Together, we will break down this piece of art and look up, think about its meaning more deeply. Our exploration of the artwork will be guided by questions and information provided by Tanya Scott, Curator of Education at University Galleries. The artwork we focus on will then become our inspiration for our very own artwork that we will create together. The artwork we will be making today are called Bubble Print Galaxies, and they will be inspired by artist Ala Ebdekar. In the description of this video, you will see a list of supplies, and they should be things that are just lying around the house. Let's get started with a trip to University Galleries and take another look at the art exhibit, An Infinite and Omnivorous Sky. This was the one we looked at last time. It is inspired by the mysteries of outer space. So to begin your tour, you will need to follow this link and it will take you to the University Galleries webpage. When you are taking a look at the amazing art exhibit, feel free to pause the video and take your time. For more information and to see each of the artworks up close a little better, just scroll down to the bottom of the website page and you should see it down in a slideshow format. So, during our tour, see if you can find Ala Ebtekar's work, which is called Nightfall. And during your tour, see if you can find that, but take a look at the other works because we'll talk about those as well. After your tour, come back to this video and we will discuss Nightfall and then create our own artwork. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your trip to outer space again. So, did you get a good look at Ala Abtekar's work, Nightfall? Let's talk about his artwork a bit before we continue on and make our own versions of his artwork in the form of our bubble galaxies. What is the first thing you notice about his artwork? What colors do you see? What do these colors make you think of? How do you think the artist made this work? Why do you think the artist chose to include a series of five works instead of just one? So the full title of this work, which I forgot to mention before, is called Nightfall after Asimov. What does the title tell you about the work? What do you think this artwork is about? What do you see that makes you say that? So this artwork is inspired by a novel called Nightfall and this is written by science fiction author Isaac Asimov. The story is about a planet that is always in sunlight, except for one night every 2,000 years. How do you think this sudden change would affect the people that live on that planet? Can you imagine never seeing the stars or being the only generation in 2,000 years to see the night sky? How does this artwork relate to our current circumstances? What sudden changes have you experienced recently? How has this unforeseen change altered your daily life? Ebtekar used cyanotype paper, a light-sensitive photo paper, and used the light of the stars to develop these images. How does this process relate to the idea behind this work? I hope you enjoyed our discussion and our look into Ala Ebtekar's Nightfall a little more deeply. Next, we are going to be creating our bubble print galaxies. Okay guys, we're going to be creating bubble print galaxies today. So this is kind of what this will look like. It's a very simple and very cool process. And the results give you something close to a galaxy. So what you kind of need to think about first is what kind of colors do you see in a galaxy? Typically we see a lot of pinks and blues and purples. So that's what we're going to focus on today. We're even gonna throw in a little bit of green. So after looking at Ala Ebtekar's work, 
This is all about the stars in the night sky. So that's why we are creating our own night sky that can be turned into something else. So to start, you're going to need a piece of paper. It can be any size. I just cut a piece of computer paper in half. You will need dish soap. Any kind works. I have very little left, but you don't need a lot, so that's awesome. You'll need little bowls or dishes. Um, however many colors you're going to make. Um, I'm going to make three different colors, so I have three different bowls and I have a couple already made. You'll need a straw. You'll need a paintbrush or a stick of some kind to stir your uh, mixture. And then most importantly, you'll need food coloring. Um, I'm going to be using red, blue, and green. Um, you can use liquid watercolor. You can use, probably you could use paint, really watered down, or even like uh, the little watercolor paint palettes, anything like that that's going to create color. And you'll need some water as well. I have a pitcher of water to the side. So super simple things. And um, this does get a little bit messy. So if you want to work on a towel or have paper towels handy, that might be a good idea as well. I have a little cloth to the side here. So to start, I'm going to be making our um, print mixture, which is soap, water, and food coloring. So I went ahead and um, started and made my first concoction already. Um, and I did red, which gives you this nice pink color when you add it. So I did my red already. So now I'm going to make blue and show you how to add that. So I'll put that to the side. So grab one of your dishes and you need about like a teaspoon of dish soap. Just a good blob. And a little bit of water. Not a ton. You want it to be mostly soap. And this is the part I like a paintbrush for because it really mixes it well. But you can use a stick or your finger or anything. But you want to stir until the soap is basically dissolved in the water. You don't see any soap blobs anymore. My soap is already blue, so that kind of helps a little bit. And then you're going to add a lot of food coloring. Like, a lot. Then stir it again. Your paintbrush is going to be really saturated with color, so you're going to want to make sure you have a towel or something handy for that brush. So the next part is the fun part. You're going to be taking your straw and blowing into the mixture. Make sure you're blowing into it and not sucking up because that would not taste very good. So take your straw and just blow into the mixture. And you want to blow the bubbles until they are kind of mounding over your bowl. And take your piece of paper and you're going to just press it against the top of the bubbles. You'll probably see it soak through and you can try to press it a few different times. And ta-da! It leaves a nice print. So you can do this as many times as you need until you're happy with how it looks. And this does kind of stain your skin a little bit if you get it on there, but it will come off eventually. Kind of moving my paper around until I get some really nice prints here. And do it one more time. Make 
made that pile really tall. Okay, I like how that's looking. Let me try to get a little bit more in there. Okay, so I'm going to switch over and create a purpley color. So, if you guys know anything about color mixing, what two colors mix together to create purple? Red and blue. So we already have some mixing going on here, but we're going to actually mix it together physically as the bubble juice um, to strengthen it a little bit more on our paper. So you can do this two ways. You can just pour this into there, which is awesome. You can squirt blue into here, also awesome. Or you can create a whole new batch, whatever you want to do. So I'm not going to waste my dye, so I'm just going to pour my red into my blue. And blow bubbles. I got some nice dark color going on here. And if you get bubbles that stay on your paper, they will pop eventually. Or you can kind of blow on them and they'll pop. Ooh, run away bubble. I think I want a little more color down here. Okay, so I'm happy with how that is looking. I'm going to take it one step further and add a little bit of green to this now. Oh, I left a little ring there. So I'm going to add some green to this. I already have that mixed up here. So once again, a squirt of dish soap, a little bit of water, then a lot of food coloring or liquid water color, whatever you have. Then blow bubbles. That one turned into like one big bubble. Got a little bit there. Okay. Okay, I just wanted a little bit of green added in. So that is it. So with these, you can display them as is. You can take inspiration from all the Eptikars series and make a few of them, display them together. Um, another awesome idea would be to let this dry really well and fold this up and make a card and write a letter to somebody you haven't seen in a while and send it in the mail. They would love that. Um, you can also take it a step further if you'd like. If you get a really dark coloration on this, you can go back in with some um, liquid whiteout or white paint and add some stars on top if you want to. Um, you can really turn these into anything. That's the beauty of artwork. You can create something and turn it into something else. So thank you very much for joining us for our second session of Art Around You, and I hope you enjoyed our art making today.